We begin this half hour with a breakthrough in a decades old rape case out of Framingham. It was back in 1989 when two store employees were raped. And all these years later, the Middlesex County DA has identified a suspect thanks to new genealogy tools. And now she is asking for your help on the other side of the camera here to help track him down. NBC 10's Oscar Margame joining us live from Framingham with the latest on this story. Oscar. Yeah, guys, the prosecutors say that this man came to this mall right here in 1989. He brought a gun and then raped two women. A lot has changed since then, including how investigators are using evidence to crack a case. We are here this morning really to ask for your help. State prosecutors turning to the public after a turn of events. A breakthrough in a 34-year-old case that has led them to this man, 71-year-old Stephen Paul Gale. Mr. Gale has been charged with four counts of aggravated rape, two counts of kidnapping, one count of armed robbery. The charges stem from a rape and robbery at the Shoppers World Mall in Framingham on a December morning of 1989. Two women, ages 18 and 29, were working at the Hit or Miss Women's Clothing Store when Gail allegedly approached one of them and pulled out a gun. He then forced the two women into the back, placing them in separate rooms demanded at gunpoint that they remove all of their clothing. He also allegedly demanded money from a safe, the register, and their purse before raping them. After he took off, the woman ran out for help and reported the crimes. A rape kit was processed, and 12 years later, the DNA was uploaded to the FBI's database. Mr. Gale has, over the years, used a number of aliases and has lived and has ties to multiple states. But no matches were made until 2022 when investigators partnered with a lab to perform a genetic genealogy search that led them to Gale. We're going to do everything that we possibly can uh, with, with all the resources that we have. This is what he's believed to look like now, six feet tall and 270 pounds. With this new information, authorities hope to bring victims the justice they've long been waiting for. Now, the Middlesex County District Attorney says that this man right here may be tied to other similar cases in the greater Boston area. At that time, they're offering $5,000 a reward for any information that may lead to his capture. Reporting live in Framingham, Oscar Margain, NBC 10 Boston. Awesome.